Good afternoon. It's me, Jaslyn, and I am coming to weigh in once again. Today is day 32, and I'm not exactly feeling super thin today. In fact, I'm actually feeling very puffy and kind of soft, but it's been two weeks, and I... It, I sh I'm due for a, a weigh-in, but um, the reason I think I feel so puffy and soft is I am about to start my cycle, and so I'm likely holding on to a bunch of water and puffy, typical female scenario, we start feeling like less pretty and pudgy and lethargic and things like that, and I just know mine is on the way and so TMI but I know that's probably gonna affect my way in today but I figured if I waited two more days till it was two weeks from my last way in I'd probably actually weigh more because um, you end up putting on a bunch of water weight sometimes you can go up 10 pounds just from uh, hormonal change so normally my rule is no weigh ins around this time but I would still want to see where I'm at and I did do measurements and there were some changes so I'll go over that and we will see where I am on my way in okay let's get started oh thanks Davin what's it say okay it says all my people are asleep all whoopsie now I gotta do my password with them on camera Okay, blocking my password. Oopsie. Normally I have this a little further in on the Wii. Incorrect password! Oh lord. <laughs> uh, okay, we're doing this a little crazy today. Um, how have I been? I've been great. It's been 12 days since you've seen me. Don't forget to take your daily body test. I don't take daily body tests though because then I'd be saving them without you. Alrighty. And did you turn on the blue light for me? Um, come step back out of the camera line so that you're not blocking anything. Back a little bit further. Perfect. Okay, my pound, my clothes weigh two pounds. Stand feet sped apart. Release your tension in your shoulders and relax. Measuring. All done. You're going to give me some sound? You want a little sound on that? Okay, thanks, Davin. Okay, it says I'm standing on my left. Feels like I'm standing on my right, though. Okay. My last BMI is 37.09. Today's BMI is 36.61. So it did go down. Okay, so even though I'm feeling a little puffy today, I still lost 3.1 pounds for the last two weeks. So that's great. Okay, I didn't hit my goal. My goal was six pounds. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna end my body tester. I'm gonna reset my goal. I think it'll ask me. Oh, 
Oh, my goals for two days from now. Oh, well. Okay, so that means on my next win, I'll be setting a new goal, which is fine. Um, actually, by my next goal, maybe I will have hit six pounds off, and then I will have met my goal. So, we'll see. If I lose another 2.9, it'll be happy. And that is done. So, go ahead and turn the TV off for mom. Thank you, little camera helper guy. And we're done with that part. And I will reset the camera and we can move on to my measurements. All right. Um, so I'm going to go over my measurements. There is... So here is my body. And, um, like I said, I'm feeling a little puffy today, so I hesitated to, to do my video, but you know what? I'm just checking in. It's going to be a long journey. we got plenty of time to have um, stronger weeks or things like that. And you know what? Having a less strong week makes you want to fight for your next week, so that's what I'm going to do. And it'll, it will be a cycle week, and I always do lose really well after, so... We'll see if that has like a five pound drop or something. And so, <laughs> don't try and do that little, little guy, you're my helper. Okay, so my chest stayed the same at 45. And my upper belly went down one inch from 40 to 39, originally starting at 42, so I've lost three inches through here. My lower belly stayed at 46, which I do think that there's not going to be like a big visual today off of here because I feel puffy and there was no inch change. So I think that has to do with it. Um, my legs both stayed the same, which doesn't surprise me because it was a big change last week. So I have one at 27 inches on my right leg and 28 on my left leg. My right arm um, went down a half an inch, and my left arm went down a half an inch. So they went from 14.5 to 14, which is awesome. And my neck, which I anticipated no change, I lost an inch. So it went from 16 to 15 inches. I thought, oh, it's not going to change this week. It didn't change last week. It changed. So different things change at different times. My calves stayed the same. They're 17 inches. But I do want... Oh, careful. You're standing on the tripod. Um, I do want to work on shrinking my calves because I bought some boots. And my legs are a little too big for them. But by next winter, I will be rocking them. Okay, my hips. So um, below my belly right in here, I went down a half an inch from 50 to 49 originally 51 but I actually didn't weigh that the first week um my butt where are you hiding oh no I lost my this was 47 and this went to 46 so I lost an inch here and I lost a half inch off my butt and let's see one oh, you're moving my camera one <laughs> Um, two half inches, two, three, four. So I lost four and a half inches this week. Not as big as it was last week, which is probably why I don't feel like there's much of a change is because it's smaller. And it's going to get smaller. I, I will get to where once I'm kind of fat adapted and just eating right, to where it's going to be like five pounds a month probably, because that's how my weight loss was before, was I... Five pounds was typical for what I could lose in a month once I got to where I was just in my losing phases. So we'll see how that goes. So I lost 3.1 pounds. I was 2 point, oh, I was 236 pounds. So that takes me down to 233 pounds. So that's pretty exciting actually. Um, starting at 245 down to 233, I am 
very excited about that. And so even though I still feel big and I'm feeling hormonally big that, oh well, I'm still on my journey and I am not letting go for anything. I'm very happy. I've got a lot of friends who are going and they, you know, they've got their time in. They're texting me and letting me know about their losses and keeping me excited and my mom's doing it with me. She's losing weight and she is texting me every time she loses five pounds. So I'm very excited about that. And I'm just so happy about my journey. I really am excited to see what the next 30 days brings me because I've made it 32 days. So in the next 30 days, I'm going to be a, a lot smaller than I am right now. It's going to get to where, you know, they say at six weeks is when other people can notice. And I really feel like that's when I'm going to feel a little less chubby than I'm feeling. I know I'm a lot smaller, but I'm still big. So I just, I want it to be faster than it is. <laughs> um, but patience is a virtue and you want to make sure you're doing that. So I want you guys to subscribe. I was saying I needed 4,000 subscribers. I guess I only need a thousand subscribers, which I'm not far off from that. And it's, you need 40,000 watching hours from your viewers. So I need to get to 1000 subscribers and 40,000 hours of viewing so that I am a more, um, I don't know, big time YouTuber. <laughs> um, I am watching all my favorite YouTubers trying to get tips for how to be better at this. And so if you have any suggestions for things you think that would be helpful or things that you're looking forward to seeing, um, recipes, anything like that, just give me a shout out and I would love to hear from you. Leave me a comment, um, cheer me on, let me know if you've started. And thank you so much for watching. Mwah. Have a great day. You want to say hi? Yay! Devin wants to say hi. He wants to say, tell everybody to subscribe. Hi. Say, subscribe and watch my mom. Subscribe and watch my mom. Say, and watch me. And watch me. Say, we love you. We love you. And then, now you can go hit the square. Oh, yeah. Oh, you took a picture. Hit the square.